This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to calculate the limits of piecewise functions. And I'm also going to show you the difference between the limits of piecewise functions uh, and um, how to evaluate piecewise functions at specific domain values. There's a huge difference. All right, come with me. All right. And this curve, well, the curve has been drawn for us. Um, and by the way, I do have a video. Math Guide has some videos about how to graph piecewise functions. I'm going to put all relevant material that Math Guide has in the comments section of the video. All right, anyway, here we've got f of x, and it is definitely graphed for us. Um, let's talk about how to evaluate a function. And I'm going to put this right over here. Let's say I want to figure out what is the value of this function when x equals negative 1. So here's x equals negative 1, vertical line, and I want to know where does this vertical line touch the graph? Those open circles are not part of the graph. Okay, the only part of the graphs that exist are hard points, not open circles. So if I'm on this vertical line x equals negative 1, you can see that I pass through the open circles and I'm right over here, and this point has a y value of 2. Okay, so that's how you evaluate uh, the function at specific domain values. Okay, not a big deal, right? Now let's take a look at how to calculate a limit. Like, let's say, for example, I want to find the limit as x, x approaches negative 1, but I want to approach it from the right side. Okay, what does this look like? Well, this is what the notation looks like. Okay, so how do I deal with this? Well, here's x equals negative 1. Now I'm on the right side of it. So if I'm on the right side of negative 1, it must be on this section of the curve. As I get closer and closer and closer to that x value of negative 1, I'm headed towards this point. And yes, I do know that that point does not exist on the graph, but that's where I'm headed. I'm headed towards that point. And that point right there has a y value equal to 3. See, there's two different answers. You evaluate the function, you want to know where the point is. If you do a limit, you want to know where are you headed. And then that's where I was headed. It was headed towards a y value of 3. Yep, all these points have a y value of 3. Okay, now contrastly, let's say that we want to find the limit, same function, but now I want to approach uh, the negative 1, and I want to approach it from the left side. So I'm going to put a little negative 1 there. Okay, so what does that mean? It means here's x equals negative 1. I'm on the left side of it, so I must be on this section of the curve. If I'm a little bug, and I'm traveling towards this value, right? I'm, I'm headed towards this point. I'm at a y value that's equal to 1. And there you go. I got a y value equal to 1. Okay, so you can see that I have two different values here. When I approach negative 1 from the right, I'm up here at 3. When I approach negative 1 from the left, I'm down here at 1. And these two values are different. Okay, what does that mean? Well, doing the, their own problems, nothing. Nothing to concern ourselves with. However... If we were asked, what is the limit? Well, let's do that a little bit neater. If they ask us, hey, what is the limit as x approaches negative 1? And they don't say left or right. Well, you now say, well, if I want to approach negative 1, these, the only way there's an answer to this problem is these two answers, when I approach it from the right and from the left, they have to go to the same y value. Since these y values are not the same, I'd say that this does not exist. Does not exist. Why? Because when I approach it from the right, I get one value. When I approach it from the left, I get another value. So in general, we say the limit as x approaches negative 1 of f of x doesn't exist. Okay, so let me clear the screen so that I could also talk about another problem. So let's say we were to take a look at 
uh, the evaluate the function at f of f of x at 3. Well, at 3, you could see that the only point that exists right here is a y value of 3. So let's figure out what is the limit as x approaches 3. Let's do it from the left first this time. Okay, so how does this look? If I'm approaching 3 from the left, I'm on this curve. So if I'm headed towards x equals 3, I'm headed towards this point which has a y value of three. Let's find the limit as x approaches three from the right side. Okay, now if I'm from the right side, here's x equals three, I'm on the right side, I must be on this curve. If I am headed towards x equals three, I'm going down this little curve and I'm headed towards this point. Limits are where you're headed toward. So here I'm headed towards a y value equal to one. Okay, now if someone said, hey, if you want to figure out what is the limit as x approaches 3. Okay, that means these two answers would have to be the same exact answer for this to have a numerical uh, answer. Okay, so I, these values are different. Because these values are different, we'd say it does not exist. It's because the curve has a snap, right? It snaps. Anytime the curve snaps at that point, it, it's not going to exist. And there you have it. There you have it. That's how you evaluate a piecewise function with limits. Okay. And it's how you evaluate it um, if you're just evaluating it with uh, specific domain values. All right. So... Make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our lessons, check out our interactive quizzes, and of course our instructional videos. Um, and as a matter of fact, I do have an interactive quiz on MathGuide, and the interactive quiz will throw you a problem. And I have one right here, and the problem is always going to be random, and it'll be waiting for you to throw in an answer, and it checks all your work. So again, I will post links to this and the lesson, the uh, appropriate lesson that goes with it. Okay, all right, so thanks for uh, joining us. Make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care.